In a world where many are struggling to find truth in the Word of God, the Church of Pentecost, through its sponsored program, The Pentecost Hour, brings you godly and soul-inspiring messages from seasoned men and women of God. Your life and my life should center on Christ. We should live a life to the extent that there should be no difference between our private and public life. The more God gives us, doesn't mean we should buy more material things, but rather we should be conduit of blessings unto others. For what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? God said marriage is good. God cherishes family life. And it's up to you and me to build God out. This year, our theme remain in Christ and his basic message is based on 1 John chapter 2 verse 24 to 25. As our men and women of God rightly divide the word of truth for your understanding. Pentecost are on Pent TV. Remain in Christ and his basic message. You are the full Adonia Sumjie Finyamieja Oba Hon Kron Kron and your chefa and a day. Otunfu Nyankupono na dumu nti ni mubru hunu nti onu a okita ye nkwam no no ade ye ngani made chini ade san no wa ma ye sa ahia bio timi fa sa kwai na mi ma wa kwaba e de ba pentacles awa e fi the church of pentacles headquarters sorry the training apostle eric kwabna nyameche a cancer onyankopon asem but to me, I'm a way in If you are doom, walk a doom. Now, a seminar answer a be mau a chapati. O cancer semi a bra woja apostle Joseph Kwame Asabrel and a busia quine a wafi achimota area a cotacrade area. No kasai a obutaya. What to me, Medimu eshe unyaminsa ni nadum asemnomu. Jodofu, yenko achi mota central na yeni adofonomu. Yenko sum ene dey. Radia ye, 
na eye se otodwom ema ye nyankopon na eye de ye ye efata awurade na ochiche jerusalem opon israel foa wapete won osa won a won kuma ebubu yare na ochichire won ekuru haleluya ochire nsono madodo ototu won nyina din ye ye urade so na ne tumi do so ni humu enni anuguo awurade emma ahobrasia fo jina oto abone fo hwefam monto aseda dwom ma awurade monfa osankuo ento dwom emma ye nyankopo ono na ode emununkum ekata soro osiesie osuo emma asase ombe wura efifi meboso praise the lord ode aduane emma emu aduma ene nkwa kwa da bi ma wonsu enya obonko aho ode na eya no fe enya onipa nyansa ena eso nani awurade ani so won a wosuro no won a won ani eda na do enso jerusalem kan fo awurade zion ye onya nkopon aye na wa she wa pon kese ada bande wa shira wo ma wo wo mu o ma wa she wo ma wa she so eye jojo o de awie awi mu awi ha e ma wudi mai o ma me kese ba asase so na sem tu mri kan ten 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 o ma su jira ma eto se asawa o peti obosuo enchenchen so so o tu esuko twen aku se ankokrowa ina na obetumi na wo o ma na sam benane no ma po e ma ensuo se o yi na sam chere yeko o de na shede ene na temude e chere israel onye o ma bia sai na temu de no unnim muni awrade aye amen praises to our god for it is pleasant and a song of praise is fitting the lord binds up jerusalem he gathers the outcasts of israel he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds he determines the star, the numbers of the stars he gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make a melody to our God on the land. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares rains for the earth. He makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the beasts their food and to the young ravens that cry. His delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of a man. But the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in the steadfast love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses the children within you. He makes peace in your borders. He fills you with the finest of the wheat. He sends out his command to the earth. His words run swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He hurls down his crystals of eye like cramps. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his titles and rules to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his rules. Praise the Lord. Amen.
No matter what you to ye, why, for so did I grateful to God to be the speaker this morning. 
Because it is blessed to give than to receive. And that word was from Jesus himself. When you give, you are credited. And now, now, so what I'm going to give you, it is for you to also give it out. As long as you don't give it out, you remain a debtor. So try and work it out and then give it out. We are here this morning to celebrate our God for his goodness towards us and for his mercies to us. So we are here to worship our maker. In this service, we shall also farewell our dear apostle and his family, Apostle Joseph Asabu and Mama Rebecca. Joseph Asabu there's going to be an important part of that session when we get to the session two. We are going to listen to testimonies concerning our dear apostle and the family. So sometimes we and those times when you are when you are listening to a testimony concerning someone. You also have to ask yourself, if somebody was testifying about you today, what were they going to say about you? Now, for the past four years, you have been here with us. The four years that we have seen him go out and come in, we are going to give a testimony concerning his life. But in these four years, he has worked together with us. So ask yourself, in this in these four years, what testimony do you also have? As chapter 20. I read verse 32 from the NIV. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Now I fail here. May the moment share a radian, sir, and then I do my same. On the way to me, I do my see now, this statement was made to the leaders of the church in Ephesus by the great apostle Paul. Because he was leaving them and according to him, he was not going to return to them. Again. So the Bible said that he, he knelt down with all of them and prayed. They all wept as they embraced him and kissed him. What grieved them most was his statement that they would never see his face again. Now, Paul was all they knew was all the church in Ephesus knew. He has brought them to Christ. He has been their teacher and a mentor and a father. He kept coming back to them to admonish them and to encourage them. But now he's saying that he's leaving. He was not going to return to them any longer. And they wept. But this is Paul's response to their weeping. Now I commit you to God. 
And to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you inheritance among all those who are sanctified. So, not retaining to them any longer did not matter, so far as Paul was concerned. Because he was not what they needed. He was not their savior. He didn't die for them. He's just a minister of the gospel. So he's turning them back to the father. Says, I commit you back to your father. I commit you back to God. But and to the word of his grace. Then from the NIV he says, which? He didn't say who. Now he makes mention of God and the word. Then the scripture says, which can build you up. So the premium was not on God. Now the premium is on the word. Because all of us have been given birth by, to, by God. Now we have come to him. But now we commit you to his word. This is the word of his grace. What that means is that the word that is full of graces. The word that can fix what is not there. This word can bring that which is not. The word of his grace. The Bible says it can build you up and give you inheritance. Now this word builds up. It builds body, soul, spirits up. This way. It builds up. And then beyond that, it gives inheritance. It doesn't give rags. It gives inheritance. This word. So the scripture says that this word, anyone that believes we should teach this word. Go out into all the world and make disciples of all nations. Now when they respond to the gospel, teach them. This is what we used to teach the white man. The black man. The colored. Teach them. The Bible says that if, when you read it, you are blessed. Just reading it, you are a blessing. When you study it and you obey it, it will build you up. And it will give you inheritance among all those who are sanctified. When God saw Abraham, now, Abraham was an idol worshiper. According to Acts chapter 7 from verse 1 to 5, let's go and read Acts chapter 7. As my phone, you may it is on from one to five. Yeah, they can echo see in room. Then the high priest asked him, Are these charges true? To this he replied, Brothers and fathers, listen to me. The God of glory appeared to our father Abraham while he was still in Mesopotamia before he lived in Haran. Leave your country, your people, God said, and go to the land I will show you. So he left the land of the Chaldeans and settled in Haran. After the death of his father, God sent him to this land which you are now living. He gave him no inheritance here, not even a foot of ground. 
But God promised him that he and his descendants after him will possess the land, even though at that time, Abraham had no child. So this is the story of Abraham. Abraham. Now, he was an idol worshiper living with the dad in Mesopotamia. Then God calls Abraham from idol worshiping. He says, leave. Leave your father's house. Leave your people. To a land that I will show you. When he says, leave your people, it simply means that come out of your natives. Come Let out from the, the zone that you are aware. Come out from the country where you live. Come out from the peoples from whose language you understand. Come out from them. But in Genesis, he says, leave your father's house. So he was not leaving just his people, he was leaving the father's house as well. Leave your people and your father's house is not one and the same thing. Now, your father's house means that all that your father has, you don't have any share. So you are leaving all that your father has. You are not going to ask them to give you a portion of your inheritance. Leave your father's house. Unto the land that I will show you. So he left. Now when he left, he would have expected that God would fix him something. Listen to verse 5. He gave him no inheritance here. Not even a foot of ground. One foot of ground. He didn't give him. But the scripture says, but God promised him. Now, to promise is to give a word. So, he started with nothing. But God gave him his word. I commit you to God. And to the word of his grace. Which can? This word can. It can build you up. And give you inheritance. Let's go to Genesis chapter 24. Let's read verse 32. Let's jump to 34 and 35. This is the servant of Abraham going to testify about his master. Abraham So he said, I'm Abraham's servant. The Lord has blessed my servant abundantly. He has become worthy. He has given him sheep, cattle, silver, gold, men servant, maid servant, and camels and donkeys. That is a testimony from a servant. But when he, Abraham, was leaving home, he left with nothing. But God gave him his word. God promised him. God promised him. This is his promise. Everything that is written here is yea and amen. See, one day, Jesus told this Canaanite woman that we don't give bread that belongs to children, to dogs. Yesu, I catch that Ken and Iban say, "Yemfa emma edu anena emankramai." Now, what that means is that 
Jesus is effectively telling the woman that you are a dog. Because back in those days, the great, 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 great founder of father of this woman saw the father's nakedness. And then when the old man Noah was cursing, he cursed Canaan. And then he said, you are going to be servants of servants. Okay, now, if you have a dog in your house, so would Okrama will fear when all of us, including the servants and the supposed security men, are asleep. So, Nipper of your Nina, Qua, and me, watch my or show down, crying in Ayadano. The dog accepting his position as a servant of seven still serves the security man. Eti Kramaya or Noni and Quemua Quano on the cry or sum near or both fear hobby. You see, when you are eating and the dog comes to lie down there, you see, you see a hungry dog, when you take the food and you are taking it to your mouth, the dog will do like this. Say, who did he? That's a Kramaya Abada, did he pronounce here? It is hoping that you will give it something. But after sitting there for a while and he sees that now he didn't give it anything and you are finished eating, it will not argue with you. It will not do anything. It will just follow you. Because it has accepted its position, the servants of servants. If you say, what ni jina biya etumuse oye enkuemu akwa. But you cannot save this Canaanite woman if you, Jesus, you don't become a dog like the Canaanite woman. Because Jesus descended and took upon himself a form of a servant, including that of the woman of Canaan. See, if you don't tame your dog well, in spite of the food you give your dog, if it gets the opportunity to visit the refuge, it will bring carcass home. And with the teeth and the tongue, sometimes it works on the carcass till the bones become that pure white. You are the carcass. I am the carcass. He took us from the refuse down. And when we came home, he gave us this word. It can build you up. So, you I commit you to God and to the word of his grace which can build you up. You see, if the devil manages to stop you from reading this one, he, he has actually disturbed you. This way, it builds us up. And according to Eliezer, he says that God has blessed my master. He gives inheritance. See, I have six children. Sometimes when you say you have six, seven people say, eesh. What about God? Who is that all his children? <laughs> <laughs> you see, me, I have only six. What about God? And I'm a child of God. I'm not encouraging you to go 
for some more. I'm not encouraging you. You see, when I see my sister's children, I know that with this, I can build them up. Yes. Can build them up. Then when I'm leaving the world, I'll leave them behind to continue to disturb the devil. When I understood this, I regretted not going up to 10 because I could have left 10 children behind. You see, the thing is that as for God and his word, if you give birth to 10, this word can take care of them. Amen. <laughs> I'm not encouraging you, but I'm telling you the fact. And yet, I'm showing grants that call will be come home. No more, no question. I'm making it say, I do be grand men who say, Man will be a do. Tell us, I mean, would do. Now, me this, I say, me, Mawa, as someone who bet you are more than you, more to me, a bow, umbre, and I'm away, Japadian. So it doesn't matter your background. And Fahu, Sanya, woe, Tibia, don't tell me that I'm, I'm, I'm from a fetish home. You see, Abraham was picked direct from idol worshiping. Now listen. My mother's father's father was the great fetish priest in our town. And if I'm talking about my town, it's not, it's not a village. I saw him. I saw him. Can you imagine somebody like me becoming the chairman of the Church of Pentecost? So, what would you imagine? But you see, Church of Pentecost, if anyone is in Christ, now, so be Christ or more. The Bible says he is a new creation. The old is gone. Behold, the new has come. We are born again into the household of God. Where God is the Father. And our big brother is Jesus Christ. And he is the word. When you go into the house of God, we eat the word. We drink the word. We bath the word. It can build you up. And to give you inheritance among the saints. This is the ancient word. Ever true. Ever true. Now I commit you to God. And to the power of his word. Which can build you up. When God was introducing Joshua into his greatness, this is what the scripture said. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. If you were to do Meditate on it day and night. So that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then the Bible says, then you will be prosperous and very successful. Do not let this book of the law now I say depart from your mouth he didn't say keep it only in your heart. Keep it in your heart. Be tossing it over. And out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will begin to speak. And then when you are speaking the word, the Bible says of Jesus that when they saw him in Revelation, there was a sword coming out of his mouth. The Bible describes this as a double-edged sword. Double-edged sword. So God was telling Joshua, let this word dwell in you. Let it come out of your mouth. It will be a double-edged sword. It will cut and break. It will cut and break. Hebrews says that. Hebrews say. 
This way that we are talking about. It is sharper than a double XOR. Double XOR. It clears our path. It breaks down the cedars of Lebanon. It casts through the wilderness. So that nothing entangles us. He says that the word penetrates even to the bones and into the marrows. It divides the soul and the spirit. There is no surgeon who will be able to tell me that he knows the difference between the soul and the spirit. But this double edged sword, it is so sharp that he separates the soul from the spirit and it penetrates not to the flesh but to the hardest part of the flesh the Bible says the bones and it arrests intentions thoughts and the Bible says nothing escapes this so, I want to announce to you that the word of God has eyes. Nothing escapes it. Sometimes you go to church and the word of God comes. And it's as if the preacher is in your house. Because this word, it has eyes. It knows. It arrests intentions. It organizes our thoughts. Such that when, excuse my language, when foolish people come to the Lord, wait. 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 This one. This one. Revelation 19. I read verse 12 and 13. His eyes are like blazing fire. On his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. Now this is a revelation of John, of Jesus Christ after the resurrection. He says that when he saw him, his eyes was like a blazing fire. And on his head are many crowns. He has a name. He didn't say he had a name. Now listen, I want to read again. His eyes are like blazing fire. And his head are many on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him. Not on his Attar. But if you like tattoo on him, written on him, that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe deep in blood. And his name is the word of God. What John is saying that when he was with us, we didn't know that that was his name. But it's not a name that it is to him for identification. We don't call him the word of God. It is tattooed on his body. It is a friend. He himself is the word. His blood is the word. His breath is the word. When he breathes on something, the word is coming life into that thing. Sometimes 
So Jesus is the word. Et dit Jésus Christ on est ensemble nous. When you accept the word, you are bringing Jesus into your home. It is a wood tear, someone who at the side would be yes, ever with you. When you reject the word, you are effectively pushing him outside. So would you, would Jaya, someone who are near someone who are at the side would be a yellow, sir? Oh, if you are brave, Munko. See, someone married someone. Obi, where you be? Then, after about a month or two, the young man came and he said that, Pastor, I think I've made a mistake. Baya Bosumi, me and Wachino. I said, oh, it's too early. Just go and try. It's not a mistake. Then he came again. After about six months that I'm sure I've made a mistake. So he told me all that was going on and he felt that was a mistake. So I asked him why he is sure that he's made a mistake. Because I prayed, Pastor. I prayed. I fasted 30, 21 days. Then God revealed this lady to me, but maybe. It was not God who revealed it. So I asked him whether you saw it right. Did you think, did you, was the face the same as the one you married or uh, any problem with the calf or has anything changed? He said, I don't know. Maybe I didn't see it right. I don't say, ah, now I said, you know, you know, you know, you know, are you an angel? Are you an angel? Please no. for are you an angel? Please no. And for are you above for no Angels don't marry. above for But when you marry, it doesn't matter the number of Days of fasting, you, 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 you traveled. Now, listen. Here is God. Is this, I commute you to God and to the word of his grace. Which can build the marriage. So when you, you pray and you fast and God gives you this beautiful girl for a wife. And then you take this one out of the equation. You, you come and tell God I make a mistake. Then you are blaming God. You say, Why is she making me like this? And to give you inheritance among all those who are saved. So you can marry, a, an elder can marry a dickness. But you can go to their house and there's nothing of this in their house. They don't ask the children to come around this book. Within themselves, they open the Bible in church, but not at home. They don't read it together. They don't use this. They use their minds to solve their own problems. What the word junior and a boy on say what the bear to two one yama. It's your marriage. Falling on rocks, I commit you to this one. So I go back and say, "Wa warrior, ejija, me de sa engume e ma ose kushim." It can build the marriage up again. The best you mean, my warrior, then you And to give you inheritance. Now, ma, I pay that day. Psalm nineteen. And you must also do unkrom. Psalm nineteen, verse I'll read from verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Perfecting the 
Now, if you say the law of the Lord, it is the word of God. This one is described as the law. That is why in Matthew 6, 33, the Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, that statement there does not mean that seek ye first the word of God, uh, the, the kingdom of God and be a good person, be a sanctimonious person. But seek the righteous acts because this is the book of the law. And the acts and the things that are in are supposed to be quoted and lived with. If you go to court, you hear acts, article, that, 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 that. So he said that when you have come to faith, seek the acts. Look for them. Know what is in article that clause that. Look for them. That is what we call chapter that verse that. Look for them. When you seek them, he says that all other things, all other shall be added unto you. As someone in America was in Panusene and Matthew Troy, I said, the country was right in here. Seek the principles here. Live by the principles. And the, and the promise is all other things. Shall be added unto you. So the law of the Lord is perfect. It doesn't need any additions. It revives the soul. The status. When we say status, it's this one, the word of God. Are trustworthy. Making wise the simple. Now making a foolish person wise. The precepts of the Lord are right. This word is the precepts. The word precept is two words put together. Pray and sept. Pray is before. Sept is idea. So the Bible is a precept. What that means is that it is the original idea or the idea before. Jesus said, in the beginning, God created the man and the wife, male and female, that God created them, not man and man. So if people are talking about homosexuality and they want to marry, the original idea is not man and man. This, is, this carries the original idea. This is the precepts. The precepts of the Lord are right. Giving, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant. Giving light to the eyes. This word of God brings light. You dwell in it, you never walk in darkness. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are more precious than gold. This one. It is more precious than gold. Than much pure gold. 
They are sweeter than honey. And honey from the comb. Now, when I let's read verse 11 together, if you can see from the screen. Shall so we read together? Ready, go. By them is your servant born. In keeping them, there is great reward. This word. By them is your servant born and directed. But, but when you keep it, when you obey it, there is great reward. So this morning I commit you to God and to the word of his grace which can build you up which can build your family up. This one can build your business up. Your business with the principles, the arts that is in this way. It will build you up. Rare your children on the principles of this way. It will build them up. Leave your marriage according to the principles of this way. It will build it up. Build your church on the principles of this way. It will build you up. And it will give you inheritance among all those who are sanctified. God bless us all. Shall we rise to our feet? In this gathering, is it a joke of Yabompa <laughs> Sana nchi ya mwe, ya miwa semua, e jano, e urari enshi mroyo, yesu dimu, ya rie biara wodi, seye asthma, aye pressure, diabetes, yesu dimu, yesu dimu, ya shani se, ofi mufi, e urari masu mbiye mra, madasi diye mra, madiye yine eni muaye, ni enshi odi eno inyao, wama ye hunse, a semino e bodoye, e siesieye, e maye japadiye, yesu dimu, ye kofiye, niye de wasem, a bobra, a chichiru wasore, e di a ware, e di a titimofra, na wenu onyam aye kesi, ye shira udin, ma ye jingi a semino, a de chini a de sae, na ye niso, ya kwa ye dojo, u boni a wuna mudi e hintasa maye, or don't be a finimono, or a humigunimo, a man, not in sinny ye, ye jaw born in soa, or the new cotac ruddy, bra would the assembly of money, and then a bushy, send it or two asso a hano, or the assembly of cock or two asso, and your main crop for any japadi, and we yes to him, my uncle said, Amen. Amen. Mammy has really proven herself as Apostle's wife. By being instrumental in building a vibrant women's leadership in the area. Her unwavering support to the women ministry since she's come to the Achimota area is remarkable. Mommy Rebecca is a woman of worship, prayerful, and a spiritful woman who rightly divides the word of truth. Her teaching focuses on practical life issues that could portray, potentially improve the welfare of the women and young ladies spiritually, economically, and physically. Hallelujah. 
Mrs. Asabo is poor, calm and well-minded. Her love for the things of God was very contagious that anyone who come into contact with her develop and yearn as essence to have a close interpersonal relationship with God. Mrs. Asabo, also known as Mami Yanya Kuma Abronuma, is affable, a mother, a mentor, and a friend. Proverbs 31 29. All women have done excellently well, but you surpasses them all. Amen. We will forever remember you. Obanya Kuma. We thank God for giving us such a gift for four solid years. God richly bless you for a good work done in Achimota Women's Ministry. We salute you, Mommy, and again, we salute you. Amen. One present man, yeah. One more kind of munchy. Apostle J.K. Asabel's hardworking hard spirit enabled the Achimota area to chalk the following success during the, its period of stewardship. The world membership strength increased from 36,848 in 2014 to 47,438 as of June 2018, a substantial variance of 10,590. Three districts were created, namely Dublogono, Saperman, and then couldn't say. This creation increased the number of districts from 90 to 22. Turning of the Tessan West Center into PIWC in, in September 2018. 20, 27 local assemblies were planted. 10 church buildings and one mission house were dedicated. Thai's performance appreciated from 2,079,438 in June 2014 to 4,616,259.04 in June 2018. Missions offering. Performance increased from 190,776.20 in June 2014 to 503,390.90 in June 2018. <laughs> 10 elders were called into full-time ministry. 300 elders, 441 Dickens, Five, 357 dignities were ordained. In conclusion, beloved apostle, for your exemplary leadership, your love, selfless humility, and commitment to the kingdom business, the area executive committee, the ministry, office staff, and the entire membership are very thankful to God for transferring you and Mama Rebecca Sable as a gift to the Achimata area. We congratulate you for a job excellently executed. You have made your mark in our minds and us. May the same God continue to lead, guide, and protect you and the family as you go to Takrade area. We are optimistic that the Lord will use you mightily. God richly bless you. Amen. On behalf of the area, it's a citation in honor of you as you work with us in the Achimota area. Amen.
Apostle J.K. Asabre, during his four years' stay in the area, was seen to be a compassionate father who accorded a great deal of care and concern for all. He always admonished ministers not to harbor personal plights to the detriment of their lives and ministry. He is a defender of the faith and a crusader of the tenets and policies of the church and always encourages ministers to do the same. He is kind-hearted and generous. His taste for quality things is remarkable. He dresses appropriately. He is very decent and time-conscious. Apostles' love for music is superb. Below are some of his favorite songs. Hallelujah. Nyami uyo hene ampa. You are awesomely wonderful God. Asusin azinina. Apostle Joseph Kwame Asabo is an astute Bible teacher with in-depth knowledge of the word of God. He sound exposition of the word of truth, interspeared with cogent illustrations, practical experience, and sometimes humor, is rather incredible and offers great understanding to his hearers. One cannot be bored when he mounts the pulpit to deliver the word of God, which is usually characterized by phrases such as, all right, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His ability to present a good balance between spiritual things and natural or physical realities has been a great help to both the clergy and the laity. Apostle J.K. Asabel is an intercessor, prayer warrior, and a great man of worship. This flare of ministry was very clear at ministers and ministers' wives and area mainly meetings. He demonstrated total reliance on God through prayer. His prayer life, coupled with faith, is translated in his passion for evangelism and so winning. This led to the organization of area crusades in Mayura and Kotoku districts. Apostle J.K. Asabar is meticulous and innovative, providing systems to support church growth structures. Conclusion. Apostle J.K. Asabar, on behalf of the area, pastorates and wives, retired ministers and their wives, as well as the widows in the Archibota area, we say bravo. Thank you very much for impacting our lives positively. May the Almighty God continue to be your shield and provider. May the Holy Spirit lead you to find grace and uncommon favor in the Lord while you continue your ministry at Takradi area. God richly bless you and your family. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, 
In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Aye yin kani dinda, aye yin kani dinda. Now for a small for us, sorry. Again, I name and one bomb pie and my any happening. Oh, so my say, Now born Yemenina. One quetty was some now one ye be biara. Be biara we ye and one was some so. And opay and no one me who was some with Tumia a walk was some with Tumia a many penyensira. When the Abraham a fee Naja and Massasua, Nam Yami Okoda Hoko, now so Ojira was some so. Ama Yami who and with Yama and Nede Epiema Abraham and Nede Waku and so. And the assembly, the amma, the bomb pie said, Yam papa a sabel, and in the busia, was seventy, was seventy, and rather was seventy, was seventy, Mausunsum and Yao, not a summum to mino, and you are this year, Takra de Walker, my assembly for a new man in a no moon, and find shower nassay, and rather would you are summoned the bishop, would you are summoned the bedway name, Wakasa, a summon in San Chirani, and be a Juma or Hawk. Many pain in who won't sa, a rather one mass one mano. Yet the Wakua shall on Sasabri. My own nan to Wasemu, my own to me any energy, my own one day any energy, my home any energy, or Sulu and Mutuno so. Now Hong Kong for a quaint chirano, and chirano quai, your bomb pie, your bomb pie, your bomb pie, your bomb pie, and what yes, you deem us, and then they are seven to me, no, and found no abusing in Uncle, the Eradin Shiram, and was as a son so. I drink beer or honor, I summon a new fruit, none of them and no some for mom, 
ensa wodi agumu so no enye ensa ekura sama wodi ama wimu na odum nyina mpue mfamam na manu nyam mpue yehu enhiram na onfa ne santo bo so wonyame agya nyame oba nyame nkonkon di mu amen May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you the needed peace. God be with you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, into your dofu, well, who and inter seminal. Say, Nyamia sem, and Nora, and Ebemo, and Nini. Say, what for Jesus Christ to. I will read the end of the crying quan. A yasemno and a baby wenny. Namo and yinny. If you are doom, I go a doom. A yasemna ransom and a be mow a chapadier. A yasemna ransom and a essa we are a yasemna ransom and a sissy wawadier. A yasemna ra. And a ye be piara. Odofu. And we are nisa. One yamre. Na waking kind asemno. Na we di asemno so. And no en a ebe bwao. Asemna ran so. And yesu Christo. Na se yesu Christo ba wa brabo mwa. O noa oya asemno. O be dum no wa bwao. Wa bo who buy to win him be when he be watching it. Ma would see Yamisuma say, Who young coupon? No one nancy a wademo into well and your Florida water and your cocoa and your nanda beer, Eddie Dadao. No one called Daho, Neri Titia or so. You near and set Ninia and Fata. Prepare, e wa sa se so, e na sa se e chigina, e onyang kupon, asem. Ti bre wa kumase, na makwain, na asem na e ye Yesu Christo, e metina, wa kumem. It is a onyang for Jesus Christ, we were ready on ukra jim kwa, be kanfunu, e ne de e emmao. Jina bi u piara u jine mono, Yesu ba wakume mwa bibiara be yeyi obema we hu no obema wate no we sisiu no we tumi anyini e wode mo it is our feyen e wo pen tv pentacles hour na unfa jesus christ we ready on ukrajin kwa mi mau sa akwenye san se ni a echenso eni se in kwa eni ewiye na yesu edi be mawo se uwu fi asase so a u be sa tena se biu e we ni onyem na che so be ko heaven na se wan ji ne ndi na wan fa asem no se de atro na u be ko bun sam jem ja yesisi ama u bun sam e hodi me kanfu e mawo se me ko to Jesus Christ today, na obe ba wa brabo. It is a wa ji enga sempa kanye dia, na wa si wa juni pia, odofu kansan semi, endi meji, na dumu ebe ye uchefa. Mi ji di se, Jesus Christ, oyu nyanku pomba, mi boni nti enobe wi, e wa sendi anoso, Na mi bimbo sunti eno nyane fi ewo fom. Inti ene dey mi fa Jesus Christ aye mi radi eno mi kraji nkwa. Mi nene benante mi mkwande nina inti e radi buwame. Otunfu nyan kupon ema nadum enkaw na insema wake on shewuteng na disu na nanti womu na down kwa ebeye uchefa wona fu se wabo sampaya bo modern se be freyen 
e wo no mesna e dia go screen no so no na e be boa o be brave afi the church of pentecost e wo gana e ni amano ni nyina be bibiara wo na pese o ni church of pentecost e sum no benga do fu no benga sore a ben na wo de nyame asem e be boa o we nyi ni e fi adum ako adum ye fa sakwen na ya shira ye titini ni apostle eric kwabna nyamiche asansu ama apostle joseph kwamya sabre ene busiansu ayeko esre nyame adum ni mobru hunu se ensa enka wo ebra wo ko takrade area into the fire otufu jakuponga duma fi ochina ya wada ni fiada eni memory danu retirement services are kanu ebe boni nyina nsu akiremu shalom peace caris Wasem ye